else. Now I'm hearing that a lot of previous DAZN detractors are now starting to jump on board with DAZN and what I say to you is not going to be a gloat of saying see I told you so that if you are really a boxing fan that's what you should do anyway even though I did say that but <laughs> a lot of people need to start realizing and I think people are starting to realize as well that if you're actually a boxing fan it makes no difference your feelings towards Eddie Hearn, your feelings towards Anthony Joshua, your feelings towards anything like that, or Oscar De La Hoya, or Ken Lello. It doesn't matter. The question that you only really need to be asking yourself is, am I missing out for $10 a month? How much is $10 per month? Don't most people waste way more than that within a monthly period? Just buying junk candy down the shops and sweets and one too many trips to mcdonald's or whatever i mean maybe i mean people can usually scrap together ten dollars right usually so you're missing out on so much content you don't have to like eddie hearn you don't have to at all i mean who buys a boxing event for the promoter nobody does and i know that a lot of people are getting a little bit tired and starting to see pbc for what it is with the fact that they're not doing all they can. They like to build fights, risk fights potentially not happening if one of the fighters ends up taking a loss before the other fight happens. There's too much instances lately of the PBC, for example, Errol Spence Jr. versus Terence Crawford. Why is this fight not happening now when you've got one side of the fence, Terence Crawford and Bob Arum saying, let's make the fight now, and you've got Bob Arum Floyd Mayweather and Errol Smith Jr. not looking to make that fight now. That's a duck, is it not? The PBC are making fights like Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. Does anybody actually care about either of these guys now? Manny Pacquiao, absolute legend, phenomenal fighter. But he's at the end of his career now. Adrian Broner was once tipped to be the replacement for Floyd Mayweather, then started hanging around Floyd Mayweather, adopted the old shoulder roll, and has been on one hell of a downslide ever since. In fact, his last fight, in fact, his last two fights, didn't he win, um, lose one and draw one? I mean, people don't have any kind of interest in Adrian Broner, especially with, with like a lot of the antics outside the ring. How many people actually want to see Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner, especially on pay-per-view? Not too many. How many people actually want to see Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence Jr.? When it should be Errol Spence Jr. versus Terence Crawford and Mikey Garcia versus Vasyl Lomachenko. You see, there's so many examples. The Charlo twins. Rather than them fighting excellent opposition, they're fighting mediocre opposition. Not terrible opposition, but mediocre. You've got Jamal taking on William Monroe Jr. Jamal taking on Tony Harrison. Not really stellar, is it? Look at the Wilder undercard. You've got Joe Joyce on there, heavyweight. You've got Chris Ariola, heavyweight. You've got Luis Ortiz, heavyweight. All three of those guys not fighting each other. Not one of them are fighting each other. In fact, Joe Joyce is going to be taking on Joe Hanks. You've got Luis Ortiz taking on Travis Kaufman and Chris Ariola, as of right now, without an opponent. So I think people are starting to see that the PBC, and I wish the PBC all, all the luck in the world, and I know a lot of people who are PBC fanboys, they probably still are fanboys, but they, they want to zone because they're boxing fans. As I said, you don't have to like Eddie Hearn. You can still support the PBC, and you can still pay for their pay-per-views if you really want to. And I know a lot of people are saying, but why do I want an app on my phone to watch boxing? I want to watch it on my big flat screen TV. Well, you can. And no, I'm not on the payroll of DAZN or Matchroom, okay? I'm just telling you how it is. Your DAZN, I wish to God I could have it in the UK. For $10, that's like £7. Why would I not? Okay, so the app that you can have on your iPhone, you can have it on your tablet, you can have it on your PS4, you can have it on your Xbox One, on your smart TV, on your laptop. There's so many different places you can have it. You don't have to ha pay $10 for your phone. $10 for your TV, $10 for your PS4. No, no, it's one account. In other words, you can watch them on any devices. You don't even have to be at home to watch them. As long as you've got some kind of Wi-Fi or internet connection, you can watch them while you're out shopping with a wife because she's taken too long in damn Primark.
Why would you not? So you're going to get 16 shows from the US, from Matchroom, 16 to 20 from the UK, plus all the ones that we have to pay pay-per-view for in the UK, you don't have to, but you get to watch them anyway. So you're talking, what, 36 Matchroom shows per year. That's it. You don't even have to like Eddie Hearn. Just mute him whenever he comes on damn TV. You can stream it all from your iPhone or your tablet or your computer to your TV. It's not complicated. If you don't know how to do it, go online. Okay, so it's not restricted to your phone. So that's 36 matchroom shows. Plus, was it 10 Golden Boy shows? Plus two Canelo shows? Plus Bellator? Plus the World Boxing Super Series? All three weight divisions? Bantamweight, Super Lightweight, Cruiserweight. Plus for the fact you've got Joshua on there, of course, as well. You've got Canelo, as I've just said. You've got the undisputed cruiserweight world champion Alexander Usyk, who's going to be taking on Tony Bellew soon as well. And whatever happens here, I think Usyk's going to be moving up to heavyweight after this. So what do you not want to? Just because you like PBC. Nothing wrong with liking PBC. Keep PBC around. Hopefully that, you know, they really improve stuff. Hopefully they do. But again, you can get ESPN app as well. Watch Crawford and Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson and all that kind of thing for $5 per month. So $15 per month for DAZN, for all that content, plus ESPN. I don't know how much Showtime is. I have no idea. But, but with the money that you're going to be saving from no longer having HBO, because you don't need it anymore if you're a boxing fan, just spend it on DAZN and the ESPN. Surely it's about the same, isn't it, or thereabouts? And getting a hell of a lot more content. And if you're there in America, or Canada, whatever, just look at the World Boxing Super Series. You've got Regis Progress in there. You've got Andrew Tabiti in there. Why would you not want to support them? Why would you want to illegally stream it, risk somebody knocking on your door from the authorities, giving you one hell of a fine? Why would you want to do that? Potentially watching a stream that's lagging, adverts popping up, viruses getting downloaded on your computer without you knowing about it when you can just pay ten dollars and watch the whole thing in hd as i said you don't have to like eddie hearn it, sh it shouldn't even be about who you like and who you don't like you don't have to like oscar de la hoya you can believe that he wears fishnets all you like you can believe eddie hearn wears fish nights um, fish nets makes no difference right you don't have to like joshua don't watch the joshua fights or watch them to see him lose. Whatever it may be. $10. Come on now. And just as a side note. I've heard that there's some. Moron. Idiotic channel out there. Who has a real. Real hatred for Eddie Hearn. Now I'm not really too clued up with this um, channel. But I heard that. He was having a go. And laughing about the fact. That. The last World Boxing Super Series. Between Regis Progress and Terry Flanagan. That whole event didn't go very well because it's Eddie Hearn's fault. Eddie Hearn is dropping the ball. It's a big fail for Eddie Hearn. Listen, your hatred for Eddie Hearn is blinding your vision. It's blinding all sense. And anybody who is subscribed to you, surely to God, surely to God, must look at you and go, what are you talking about? Eddie Hearn has nothing to do with a world boxing super series outside the fact he has a couple of his fighters in there currently for example ryan burnett who's going to, who's going to be fighting this weekend against nonito donaire that's his fighter in there but he's not promoting the event he's not managing the event just because it's not, um it's on the zone does not mean Whatever happens with the World Boxing Super Series, Eddie Hearn should get credit for or negativity for. It's got nothing to do with him. He is an advisor if they need him. But he's not a promoter. He's got nothing to do with the running of the shows. At all. So making videos, chastising Eddie Hearn, even though claiming that if you have no issue with Eddie Hearn, and it's not about Eddie Hearn, but yet you're laughing that, that, that this event didn't go down very well, because there's, what, 450 people in there. Quite how you came out with this number, I will never know. But still, to blame Eddie Hearn, on what planet is that Eddie Hearn's fault? Your hatred of Eddie Hearn is blinding your vision. So, DAZN, they have Syria A, 
the soccer, the football, over in Italy with Cristiano Ronaldo playing for Juventus. You've got Juventus, you've got AC Milan, you've got Roma, you've got Lazio, all, all these kind of top quality football teams. So if you end up watching a football game on DAZN and that football game don't do very well, is that Eddie Hearn's fault? If a event at Bellator doesn't look very good, you don't like it, is that Eddie Hearn's fault? Eddie Hearn does not own DAZN, not at all. Eddie Hearn gets zero credit for bringing Canelo in. I know he helped in a sense. He advised DAZN in some kind of way, but ultimately he had nothing to do with him really. So whatever happens in the World Boxing Super Series, nothing to do with Eddie Hearn. Pull your head out of your backside. Anyway, back onto the subject at hand. It's not about being a traitor to PBC. There's nothing wrong with supporting PBC. Nothing wrong with that. You should support everyone. But for $10 a month, why would you deprive yourself of all that boxing content? Why would you risk illegal streams or lagging streams? Just, just use it just to damn well watch the World Box Super Series. You don't have to watch matchroom events if you don't want to. But it's also a good opportunity, especially if you're a big boxing fan, to see all the up and coming British guys as well, right? Some of these guys have been knocking on the doors of some of your guys in America at some point for world title fights. Wouldn't you want to see them? Also, Eddie Hearn has a lot of Americans on his book. Anthony Sims Jr., light heavyweight, undefeated, 16 or 17 and 0. Looking the real deal. Why would you not want to support him? Anyway, it is what it is. So everybody who is starting to kind of like realise that, you know what? It would be good to have the zone, if only for whatever reason it may be. And it's not about Eddie Hearn, and it should never be about Eddie Hearn. It should never be about Oscar De La Hoya or any singular person within the zone. It should also be, it should always be about boxing. So anybody who is going, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm still going to be supporting PBC, even though I'm, un I'm unhappy with them right now. Listen, it's boxing. You should do it. And I wish to God I could. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, I get to watch all of the DAZN shows through Matchroom on Sky Sports. I don't know about the Canelo ones. I don't know about Golden Boy. And I'm not getting the World Boxing Super Series on Sky Sports. So you guys are getting a hell of a lot more money. A lot more for your money than what I get. For my Sky Sports, I'm paying a crap load of money. Trust me, a crap load of money. But you want to get all that for $10. Why would you not? Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.